Between Workouts, Sinclair's a club and radio DJ. Presents live music shows on TV, stars in soapies and movies. She's released an album, opened an academy and had a baby. Hey. Good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are exceptionally talented. A businesswoman, presenter, DJ and most importantly mom. How do you manage it all? Well, it's one day at a time. Um, I think for me, it's about planning. I'm a big planner and I have an amazing team around me that helps me just do just that. I know that you're a fitness junkie and a fitness expert, but I'm sure that your little one Cairo adds to the exercise and keeping you in shape. Yeah, exactly, especially for my arms. Hey? Yeah. So I have to lift her all the time. Now she started crawling, so now we're running around the house trying to make sure she's not hurting herself. And we like the outdoors, me and her. So I exercise in the gym, but also at home, if I'm at home and I want to spend time with her, I still use her like as a little dumbbell and she helps me with my exercises. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So you had baby Cairo in July. When was it that you decided, okay, you know what? I'm gonna get back into shape. You know what, I wanna be honest. For the first month, I actually took my time and ate my heart out. Didn't go to gym, I was just eating and spending time with baby Cairo. But after a while, you know, you start feeling weird because your clothes don't fit and your ass is not so tight and you know, your stomach is just, you know, not going back to the normal size. So it makes you feel a bit conscious. So I had to go back to gym. You're gonna have to show me some exercises to get back in shape. Yeah, let's go, let me show you. All right, all right. So, so all on your hands. Okay. And your knees bent. Yes. Stomach muscles tight. Right. And what you're doing is you're just kicking to the side, oh. lifting the one hand. Lovely. Wow, I can really feel that. Yeah. <laughs> My turn next. So you're gonna go into the plank. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then drop your right elbow, left elbow, right elbow up, Ooh. left elbow up. Okay. Feel that. That's hectic. And then opposite side, left, right, left, right. And then we just do a couple of those. And then we'll end up with some burpees. That is crazy. Right, left, right, left. You're not too bad, eh? You got it going on. How did you find that? That was easy, but... Easy? Yeah. Was that it? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> she, she's, she's put the challenge on. How's your burpee game? Listen, it's on point. Let's do it. Come. I should not have put myself in this situation. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Are you gonna join me or what? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Up, 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 up. Okay, go. <laughs> I can't believe she's making me do it on my own. You did two on your own, that's good. Zintler's apartment is a photobiography of the girl from KZN who learned mixing from her brother. At a gig one night, the DJ didn't pitch. She stepped in and her career was born. Ten years later, so was her daughter Cairo. Welcome to my home. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, wow. This must be little Cairo. Cairo. Yeah, that's Cairo. It's the princess framing the queen. That yeah. must be you. <laughs> yeah. It, it is me. Yeah, it, 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 it is me. Well, that's just well, me. Yeah. That's how I roll. Yeah. <laughs> so, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. With a banging body like yours, I know that it's not just exercise that keeps you in shape. Also a very healthy diet, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is something really simple. Um, it's a quinoa salad and it's got my favorite ingredients. Um, the smoked trout, uh, avocado I love. Gotta love some avo. And you know, the red onions bring in the flavor. Yes. So this is something that you can just whoop up, you know, in like a few minutes and you have something healthy and filling. When did you realize that South Africa had fallen in love with you? <laughs> it, it, it was very gradual, you know, my growth was very gradual, it took time and I mean my, my support was being at the club because I'm a club DJ but it wasn't anything, you know, like people picking you up, it was just always at the club but eventually once I started doing shows like Jiyama Jiga, people started recognizing me on the streets but it was always gradual, it took time, it was paced, it was well paced. As a radio mix DJ, Zintler's skills were noticed by music producer Oskido, who released her compilation Feminine Touch. Now I've been noticing your ink and I've been wanting to talk about it for a while. You've got to tell us about these tats. Okay, so uh, the rose is the latest one that I just got. Um, this actually... That's very cool. I got last year after I had a baby. Roses are my thing. Even when you look around the house, you'll find a few roses. I have like a, a low garden outside and... Um, so I just got this one just, you know, to remind myself of, you know, my strength and all kinds of things. But uh, this is my brother's name actually, Zakele. 
Uh, the one who told me how to DJ. So this was here before the big one. So eventually I had to just crowd his name and get something even cooler than his name. Okay, you didn't point it out, you didn't talk about it, but I noticed a little tattoo on your finger there. What's that about? This is actually cool, hey? Yeah. Uh, so this I got uh, on, on 5FM. Fix and Forbes had um, a little challenge. And if you picked out a box that said tattoo, then you had to get one in the spot. And for some funny reason, I swapped boxes with people until I got the wrong one. And then I had to get it on the spot. So I think it's quite cool, actually. Okay, that must mean that you, you, you're a lady of your word, first of all. And then, yeah. and then you are quite impulsive. Do you think that would uh, sort of contribute to where you are now in terms of, of your success? Um, you know what, I've been very, well, um, safe for a long time. So even with my career, I've been planning and executing, and but I've just gone into a space in my life recently where I just wanna try anything. Like, oh. So this was one of those things that I just wanted to see if I can just do. It's seven years since Miss Gianne opened SA's first DJ Academy for women. And we took a moment to put her varied career into perspective. How have your priorities shifted since you've had baby Cara? They've shifted a lot. Um, I've been forced to be happier. <laughs> I'm happier mm -hmm. now. I'm more present uh, in my life. And I've just started trying new things. I mean, I've always had the phobia for balloons, but obviously my child can't have a party without balloons. So I have to face my fears because I can't teach her about fear. So it's that kind of thing where you have to be stronger. You have to be the leader. So I'm, I'm more responsible now. So what about love? I mean, do you have time for romance since your schedule's so erratic and hectic? I mean, I, I love love, you know, I always have time for love, but right now I just wanted to just work on self-love, you know. I think I can only teach Cairo about love if I know how to love myself. So in terms of meeting someone, I'm sure I'll meet someone someday, but for now I'm just focusing on loving myself and loving the baby. You do realize that you've paved the way for female DJs in the country? Oh, that makes me happy. I'm quite passionate about females growing, um, especially in the entertainment business. There are so many guys making it, there are so many DJs, so it's about time that girls start making it and my contribution is something that I want to do because I want the industry to grow. Well, it's really been fantastic spending the day with you. I can understand why the country loves you. Wishing you all the best for your future. Thank you. A hundred students have graduated from Sinclair's Newtown Academy and they all look to her life as one they hope to emulate.